So, you're probably wondering, there's no clouds in the sky, it's super hot, but still there's water falling all over the place. Well, that's because I'm in front of the most powerful waterfall in the entire world. Woo! We're starting off the day with a super early wake up call. It's currently 6.30 a.m. and we have a six hour journey ahead of us. This is going to be the start of the more exciting part of the trip. Well, for me at least, we're heading to a place called Murchison Falls. So we're going to be doing our safari with a company called Lulu Safaris. And here's the thing with Ugandan transport. It is really, really expensive and that's because the fuel prices over here are so high. There's something about fuel tanker drivers who are being disturbed at the border between Kenya and Uganda because of COVID tests. And because of that, it's causing a whole backlog of fuel tankers causing a crisis here in Uganda. So to get to Murchison Falls, just to get a car, a driver and pay for fuel, it would have cost us above $500 at least. So we're here now at the Murchison Falls National Park. If you guys didn't know, the source of the River Nile starts here in Uganda in a place called Jinja. From there, the River Nile flows through Uganda and comes to this area called Murchison. Now over here, the riverbank sort of narrow and forms these huge waterfalls, which are the most powerful waterfalls in the world and that's what we're going to be checking out today. You can also do a little bit of a game drive. There's a lot of animals here. You have the big five here? Yes. You have all of the big five over here, which is what we're going to be doing. Real quick, I want to give a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you know I absolutely love this platform. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for anyone who wants to learn new skills and explore their creativity. For example, we recently moved into a new house and I don't particularly like the way my room looks. And ever since I came back from Uganda, given all the really cool hotels that I stayed at, I have this newfound love for interior design and I want my room to fit the part. So I've been watching a couple of classes on Skillshare about interior design and right now I'm watching this one by Arlene Hernandez called Interior Design Create a Plan for Your Perfect Room. And hopefully after this my room is going to look super cool in a couple of weeks. I'm super excited for that. Seriously guys, Skillshare is an awesome place to learn anything that you want. They literally have a class on everything. So if you want to take advantage of it then make sure to follow the link below to get a one month free trial and start learning today. All right, let's get back into the video. So I've just checked into the Murchison River Lodge. Ooh, there's two floors. Let's go see what's upstairs. King size bed. All oh, I like a kid right now. And they also have a balcony. Ooh, this is nice guys this accommodation is so beautiful so if you guys haven't noticed already i'm doing two videos a week and majority of the times the videos on wednesdays will be hotel tours and this is going to probably have already been published so make sure to check it out look at these monkeys there's a baby <gasps> okay sorry we scared you bye dude dude me eh? hey boss <laughs> They're there! This hotel is set up in such a beautiful spot. That over there is the River Nile flowing majestically. So the view of the Nile, really beautiful, but you can't swim in it because of crocodiles and hippos, of course. So before we go and do what we came here for, which is watch the Murchison Falls. <laughs> Welcome on board. Asante sana. I'm called Stanley. I will be your guide and the captain of the boat. All right, so we have just jumped onto a boat and we're going to be doing an excursion where we're going to explore the wildlife along the banks of River Nile. We're doing this excursion courtesy of a company called Wild Frontiers. And also, at some point during this excursion, we're going to get to see Murchison Falls head on from the bottom and just see it in its entire glory. I'm super excited. We've got our cooler with our beers, water and soda. Oh, nice. Ooh. Nile on the Nile. This here is a Nile beer on River Nile. Cheers, man. Cheers, bro. Wow. 
in our first party of wildlife, an elephant. Oh my god. In Magrishon Falls, uh -huh. it is true amazing. Yeah. We are on the longest river in the whole world. And it is said that is the oldest river in the whole world. And you can see the largest land mammal in the whole world. And when we are going to see the falls now, the, the falls is falls. the most powerful falls <laughs> in the whole world. Basically in a park that breaks so many world records. <laughs> That right there is Africa's number one biggest killer. <gasps> oh wow. So the River Nile is full of crocodiles. Let's see if we can call one. Here, crocky, 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 crocky. Ah, ah, the crocodile took off my arm. Ah, okay, but I have another one. We're gonna try again. Here, crocky, crocky, crocky. Ah, ah, it took off my other arm. Okay, I have my head left. Let's just try again. Here, crocky, crocky, crocky. This experience is so much better than a game drive. Not only is it not bumpy and you're not getting those African massages, but you're also getting to see the animals up close and personal. All right, so we noticed these African schema birds. I mean, very noticeable. There's so many of them on the beach and we had this idea of going super close to them and watching them fly away. Look at them! Wow! Wow! Oh my god! Look at them! Wow! Now, the moment of truth, we're slowly approaching the most powerful waterfall in the world, Murchison Falls. It's just right over there! As we're approaching, you can feel the turbulence because of all the force in the water. So we just entered a whirlpool that has been formed over here. And you start going around. So you have places where the water is so calm and then places where the water <laughs> is like this. <laughs> I feel like Indiana Jones on a mission right now. Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Guys, and there it is. You can see it with all its freaking might and power. It's fogging up all over the place. That right there is the most powerful waterfall in the world. That right there is a 140 meter drop and if you look at the width, it's quite narrow. It's actually six to seven meters wide. So you can imagine a river that's about a hundred meters being narrowed into just seven to eight meters. The sheer force and that is why this is the most powerful waterfall in the entire world. And tomorrow we're gonna go and check out the waterfall from the top to get a different perspective. Stanley, thank you so much. You're welcome. We've made it back to shore and I have to say that was such an incredible experience. On my list, safari is here and a boat safari over here. We've come at such a great time. It's barbecue night and the hotel has invited uh, local musicians from the local villages around here to play with their instruments. And these guys are talented. <laughs> Why do game drives have to be so early? We started off the game drive with a beautiful sunrise and our guide David was telling us that this national park is one of the only two national parks that has giraffes and over here there's a lot of them so that is what I'm super excited to see this morning. Brought out the bad boys! Yeah. All right.
right, a short drive later and we have made it to the point where we're going to hike down to see Murchison Falls from the top. Are you excited? Super, super excited. Come on, this is the world's most powerful waterfall. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the Pearl of Africa. Guys. <laughs> Whoa. There's some crazy force going on there, what? I'm so glad there wasn't such a huge hike needed to come down to see this. It's literally just a short walk away from the parking. That's insane. When it's rain season, yeah. the water rains up to the rocks. Wow. Look at all that mist just rising from there. Woo. You can feel a little bit of it hitting your face because of all that force. <laughs> wow, it just got rained on. So I don't know if you guys can see that rainbow there, but I've been told that's a permanent rainbow. It's always there. All right, it's time to go, guys. Let me quickly clean you up. Now I'm really starting to understand why they call Uganda the Pearl of Africa. Okay, let's go before we get drenched.